I have a great idea. Hi everybody, my name is Jason and welcome to Cats and Pats. I took a little bit of a break, but it's good to be back. So, you all know that I love to give my kitties everything I can, but unfortunately, I live by a kind of a big road, and so I keep my kitties indoors, at least for now. But, I try to spoil them as best I can. I give them lots of toys, so they have a nice big cat tree, and I like to grow them cat grass. And most of the time, this is about what I do. It's one Chinese food container's worth. It grows up tall, they munch on it, they like it. We're good to go. But chewing cat grass is not the same as lying on a big bed of grass. And since they can't do it out there, I'm bringing it in here. And so today, I'm building the world's largest bed of cat grass. That's the world's largest with zero verification. But I haven't seen anybody else do it, so I'm claiming it. And I was gonna do a king size bed, but king size beds are pretty huge. It definitely wouldn't fit in my living room. And I mean, I don't even have a king size bed, so come on kitties. You gonna outdo me? But first step is getting the seeds. How much you ask? I really didn't know. So here is a 10 pound bag of cat grass seeds. But honestly, that didn't seem like enough. So. I got 20 pounds. So, with that, hopefully I'll be good to go. Let me decide to join us. So like I talked about in my previous cat grass video, the first step is to soak the seeds. And this can be like a 24 to 48 hour process. And so with that, let's get into it. Also, I bought this 10 pound bag off of Amazon. I'll link it down below. And Todd Seeds, if you want to sponsor somebody, I'm your man. And so for real, let's get started. Okay, so I got my nice Lowe's bucket of water, which Lowe's, if you're looking to sponsor a guy that does cat videos, I wouldn't complain. So yeah, time to soak some seeds. Hey, Mew. Hey, Floof. That filled that up a lot more than I thought it would. It's about that fill. Hey, Floof. You don't trust it, do you? <laughs> Can you see this? It's kind of almost to the top. Now I wonder if I should have done two buckets. But too late now. Get this nice and submerged in here. Oh my goodness. Kittens. It's kind of like playing with Orbeez. All right, let's let this soak. So while these seeds are soaking over the next day or two, I'm gonna get started on the frame. And you all know I normally like to work in my living room, but that presents us with two problems, or maybe really three problems. One, starting out, it's just gonna be a giant bed of dirt. I'm slightly concerned the kitties might think it's a giant litter box, so I don't want that. Two, while the cat grass is growing, the cats will come over and start like eating it prematurely before it's actually grown up enough, and like start tearing out seeds and things, and I don't want that. This is what I'm talking about. Mimu. I'm not supposed to eat that yet. It's still growing. Look, he's pulled out all those seeds. And three, I just don't want a giant pile of dirt in my living room for the next week and a half-ish. And so with that, we're gonna do the work in the garage, which intelligent me decided to wait till the hottest part of the summer to do this video. But we gotta do what we gotta do. All right, so welcome to my garage. I did clean up the place. And no, I didn't just suddenly change shirts. It's two days later. And the past three days have been the hottest three days of the year so far, I think. Unfortunately, I already have my seeds soaking and they're starting to sprout a little bit. So I really need to get them in the ground. So this frame, I have to get moving. Ugh, so sweaty. So what we have here, and it's so bright it's hard to see the screen. I have a piece of 4x8 plywood. This is actually a piece of my dance floor for my wedding. You can kind of see our wedding colors there. It was a big thing. It was like 20 by 20 or something. Dad and I built it. So here's the predicament I'm in. Like we talked about before, I need to grow this cat grass outside. But I want the bed to be huge. The only problem is, this is how big a door is. As you can see, this isn't gonna fit once it's filled with grass and it's all like level. I can't turn it sideways because then all the grass would fall out. So my plan, saw this in half, make a little frame around it, put the dirt in, and once it's all grown, I'll carry it in in two sections and then stick it together. So starting out, it's time to saw this in half. My brother got this from a yard sale. It's the first time I'm using it, so hopefully nothing falls apart and we actually make it all the way through. Uh, ear protection, ear protection. Oh yeah, this board and clamps, they're not staying there. It's just a jig I can like run my saw along. So that took a lot more oomph than I thought. I think maybe it was pinching the blade a little bit. I'm not exactly a woodworker, but that part's done.
I'm not really worried too much about structural integrity. I mainly just need a way to keep dirt and cat grass inside my box. And I don't need too much dirt, so the Hydo 2x4 should do the trick. So it turns out the only screws I have are some considerably too long drywall screws, but uh, nails. I think nails will do the trick. Once again, not really worried about structural integrity. 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 Inte All right, it's too hot. That's so loud in here. Just gonna mark how long my edges need to be. So right about there. And about there. So now, with three sides done, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. We'll talk about the middle in a second. It's gonna be a little funny. All right, so I have both those halves done, but herein lies my dilemma. If I put another board here in between, then I'm gonna have this big gap between my two halves. So my idea, I'm going to use a little skinny piece to make kind of a bridge between the two halves. And then I'll make some temporary walls for the dirt just with some screws or some clamps or something. It's kind of hard to describe, so I'll just show you. This little guy is going to be half on, half off this ledge, and I'm just going to use some tiny screws to hold them. We have one big, nice, happy bed. So now our temporary walls. One side will be really easy. All right, I'm gonna be honest. I was gonna to try to do some fancy screws temporarily to hold some things in place and thought that would work, but it's being a giant pain. So we're just gonna clamp everything. Can you see that? There's a little bit of a gap, but not too much. Cheapo, yes. Effective, also yes. I only have seven clamps. I need eight. Ratchet that nice and tight. I had to rework and jiggle them a little bit, but now I think they're good to go. I am still sweating so much, but we're almost there. We just have to fill these things up with some dirt and then lay some seed. So let's do this. All right, so I'm a little panicked now. I decided to move the beds into the garden because we have a fence around our garden and I won't have like you know, bunnies or groundhogs coming in here trying to like eat up my cat grass before it's grown. But in moving it, I realized that these are kind of heavy and they don't have any dirt in them and they don't have any seeds in them. So I'm slightly worried whether Sarah and I will actually be able to move them in the house. And also I'm kind of worried that they're just gonna break in half when we try to pick them up. So yeah, it's, uh, it's a little worrisome. But I guess we'll just keep on rolling. All right, so time for dirt. And I have some cheapo dirt and some good dirt, so I'm kind of doing a layer of cheapo and then good on top. Time to do the other bed right quick, which is over there. I think I have another inside. I'll be right back. All right, come on, Jason. All right, I'm hoping that's good enough for now. That should be at least good enough to get them started. They can start growing. I may have to run to the store tomorrow and get another bag or two. Um, yeah, we're kind of winging this. But now it's time to get the seeds in. This will either be the world's largest catgrass bed or how Jason spent a lot of money on a failed project. One or the other. So after they swelled up, this entire bucket is catgrass seeds. Oops. Uh, let's just move on to the other bed for now. So I'm just gonna rub them around a little bit in the dirt. Maybe tomorrow I'll throw a little bit more dirt on. Uh, I still have a lot left. Oops. 
So I'm not sure what I'm doing with that yet. All right, I'm just gonna give it a little bit of water and uh, we'll see how it's doing tomorrow, next day. We'll see. Well, you know they always say in life there's no shortcuts. Well, I kind of uh, kind of realized that I didn't want my clams to sit out here over the next you know week or two or however long it takes cat grass to grow and like get rained on and have the elements and like that sort of thing. So everywhere I had clamps, I put in some screws. It's kind of janky, but I think it will hold enough that I'll be all right. So I'll show that to you right quick. Janky setup, more janky setup. You couldn't be any more janky of a setup. At least I uh, I got my clamps back, so it is what it is. All right, I know this might be a little bit of a jarring transition for you, but you know, things happen. So those couple things. One, got a haircut. Two, this has been a lot slower than I thought. I was originally worried that these all might die. I did bring out some more dirt, like I said. I have been watering it pretty much every day, except we did have to leave town for a couple days. And for the most part, it mainly worked, although this bed is better than that bed. But yeah, I'm going on vacation in a couple days, so it's time to get these beds inside. I'm really excited to see how the kitties like it. Also, I'm a little nervous on how the whole moving process is gonna go. They're pretty heavy. I think lifting them might be hard, and I'm kind of worried they might break in half. So I'm gonna grab Sarah and see how this goes. All right, that wasn't too, too bad. It was a little bit of a struggle to carry it all the way around the house, but for the most part, it went pretty well. Now the boards broke, that was awesome. So we got it inside, we're jammed together. This bed didn't grow as well, but I think it'll still be really nice for the kitties. I'm only slightly sweaty, but I'm super excited to see how they like it. Right now, they're all locked in my bedroom, but I'm about to let them out and see what they think. What is this? <laughs> I think they're very suspicious. It's okay, Mel. The big orange is fully exploring. Oh, hey, honey. Luna's put one paw on it so far. Mimu's still on the outside edge on the corner. All right, everybody. Nobody go to the bathroom in it. This is a fun place to nap, to play, to eat cat grass. That's it, though. No pooping. Or pee. You two are too much. Hey, Mel. Hey, Bungie. You wanna get on? You like it? You like it, Bungie? Hey, honey. Do you like it? Are you comfy? Well, this is two weeks later. Hello, Bungie. Have you been enjoying yourself? Um, this is actually back after vacation. As you can see, the grass is uh, somewhat mostly dead, but it's also like pretty padded down. And I think what's been happening is these kitties have been coming in and then sleeping on here and kind of matting it down. But for the most part, it you know somewhat survived and that's with no watering whatsoever. Mainly just kitties munching and lying. And thankfully, nobody went to the bathroom. So good job, kittens. Good job, Floof. Well, I think they like it. I'm pretty excited with how this turned out. So yeah, mission accomplished. World's largest bed of cat grass. At least that's what I'll title this. But it is massive. And if it's your first time on this channel, I do all sorts of cat DIYs, random informational videos, the occasional strange thing like this. But yeah, this channel is me and the kitties. So if you like that sort of thing and you like kitties, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.